Hey there, Clashers, and welcome back. Today, we're going to take a look at what are some of the best war attacks for Town Hall 9. So it's been a while since I've done anything on this Let's Play account that I started forever ago. So today, we're going to go ahead and take a look at Town Hall 9 war attacks. This is finally a maxed out Town Hall 9. Uh, the only thing left to upgrade are the builders. I've got just the Valkyrie to upgrade in the lab. We're not going to be looking at any Valkyrie attacks today, so it's not going to be an issue. And since I don't want this video to be too long, we're just going to take a look at one quick example, and then I'm going to talk about some different tips or different things to look for when you're doing this type of attack. So to start things off, let's take a look at Witches. Now, Witches are probably regarded as one of the strongest armies for Town Hall 9, and uh, this is the comp that I always preferred when I was at Town Hall 9 playing competitively. And this is uh, the basic Witch Slap. I never took healers, but you can take fewer golems and take some healers to put on your witches instead. And that works perfectly fine. That works just as well. But we're going to do a quick attack here. Look at what you're looking for in the base, what you want to make sure happens, and how to get that triple. And I'm going to go from this top left side. Uh, for a couple of reasons. The first one being the funnel is going to be a little easier to set. And the second reason being we can place the jump spells pretty well to keep everything inside of the base. We can put one on this junction here. Everything's going to walk right down. And then we can drop one basically on the queen platform here. It's going to open up most of the rest of the base. The only thing we're still going to have left up on the back end is this wizard tower. So let's go ahead and run this attack and we will see how it goes. And basically what you want to do is just set the funnel on the edges with some witches and then send more witches, your CC, and the heroes down the middle. And probably the most important thing for this attack is keeping the heroes in, down the middle and keeping them alive because the heroes are going to carry your attack. And you're going to notice that this army is a little less effective when you don't have quite maxed out heroes, but if you have at least decent heroes, you're still going to do decently well. So let's go ahead and get this going. So we got a golem, three witches. Give them a few seconds. Mortar's going to make things a little bit slower. But there we go. Okay, it's going. Let's get this golem going. Those witches going as well. And we can actually start this king right here on the laboratory. Get this golem going, and there's going to be a Tesla there. We go. It's going to pull that golem to the right place. Now let's open up the wall and get the rest of this army going. We don't want to wait too long because the king will be taking damage. But we do have the funnel set up for everything to head into the base. And here we go. Rage in. We've got a poison ready for when the Lava Hound pops. And it should also pull these troops into the core of the base, the queen and the witches anyway. So we'll pop that king's ability. You don't want to wait for auto ability. You get a little more out of him if you pop him when he's about half health. And we'll get this poison down. Lava Hound's going to pop. Let's get this next jump spell in as well. Hopefully that wasn't a little too deep for that king. That looks like he's good to go. So let's rage through here. The king does go down. We're going to freeze up this X-Bow as well. It did take one witch, unfortunately. I didn't see it quite in time. But it will go down. Maybe. There it is, finally. Okay, X-Bow's out of the way. <laughs> we still have the queen going. We still have some witches on this back end. And we have a bowler helping fight this enemy king. My queen's working into the base. She'll be able to move in and help out. Enemy king does go down. Got some witches on this back end. The archer tower hopefully doesn't take them down. I think there's two of them there. Let's see. We still have queen's ability. Let's go ahead and pop that so she gets through the wall faster. So yeah, the main thing is you want these heroes to stay alive and go down through the middle of the base. Uh, stay alive as long as possible, that is. So we still have the queen. The heroes can really carry this attack. And this one will be a triple. It's really just clean up at this point. Uh, no defense is left except for that very back end mortar, which is perfect. But that's basically how you do the witch slap attack. Uh, pick your base, set your funnel, and make sure everything goes down through the middle. Uh, put your spells in good spots and you're good to go. So with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this attack and we will move on to the next strategy.
And real quick before we move on to the next army, one thing I forgot to mention was with the witch attack in the clan castle, I think the best thing you can take are bowlers. But if you're in a clan that doesn't have access to bowlers, you can always take uh, more witches. You could take a P.E.K.K.A. Uh, take another ground troop that's going to help support the witches. Another good option is you could take hog riders and kind of you don't put them in the base the same way you would put the bowlers or a P.E.K.K.A. in, which is like right behind the main push. You could put kind of offset hog riders somewhere where they're going to move in and take out an important defense. So those are more things to think about with the witch attack. Now, moving on, we have uh, the wrong army on the screen, but I, <laughs> I forgot I have it in Friendly Challenge. I actually cooked the first army, forgetting that for Friendly Challenge, you don't need to do that. So let's do this real quick. Okay, so this is actually the correct army, and we're going to use dragons. Dragons are my favorite attack army for pretty much every town hall level that they're available. And in this particular case, we're using the Zap Dragons, and what you're looking for with lightning spells are air defenses that are close together, because you want to hit... Uh, two air defenses with one earthquake and then usually I actually have six lightning spells But for this base you can see I can quake this bottom area Hit both of those air defenses and I can hit those same air defenses with three lightning spells Usually you have to use six lightning spells to get two air defenses But when they're this close together, you don't have to use that many spells that frees up more spell space for more rages Which is going to make this army that much stronger So obviously we're gonna have that out of the way we're going to funnel this corner, which is where this air defend or air sweeper rather is pointing. And that means these dragons are going to come in from the top side. They're coming in behind the sweeper and they're coming in right at the air defenses. That means they're going to go to them uh, earlier in the attack, get them out of the way, and they don't have to worry about them for the back side of the base. The only thing that's going to make this base kind of annoying is the uh, are the expos. So they're kind of off on an island. You have to kind of count on things pathing to those. But with the funneling, they should path to them. They should move right through the middle of the base. So, of course, we got to funnel this corner over here, like I mentioned. We also have to funnel this up here and make sure everything's going down. We can probably even drop the queen and get that air defense out of the way as well. We'll see how that kind of works out. So here we go. This is my second attempt, and you'll see that the army is a little different. The reason for this, I forgot about the Lava Hound. And I don't really see a way to actually avoid getting the Lava Hound out of the base. Uh, if we want this funnel set, which we need the funnel to be set. So unfortunately, the Lava Hound kind of has to come out of the base. So I brought an archer and we're going to try and pull this archer away. So let's get this funnel started. We'll get the king in right here. And let's go ahead and get this queen in as well. We're going to let the heroes work. Now that they're doing their thing, we will get these lightning spells started. So we're going to get the Air defenses off the bottom of the base. We'll even put a little bit of damage on that king for some extra bonus. Of course, the king's not too big of a deal. He's just going to hold up the dragons a little bit once they kind of get down there and get going. So let these heroes continue to move through. King's getting down to about half health. We can go ahead and pop his ability. And the queen's actually going to pick up a third air defense as well. And the other thing here is we are being patient. So waiting to see that Lava Hound come out. We also need the heroes to go down so that I can move that Lava Hound where I want it. All right, and I think we're in a good spot here. The Lava Hound actually didn't come out this time, which is nice. It's always tremendously better when we can avoid pulling the Hound. But here we go. We're going to full send the army and rage our way into this base. We do have that other sweeper up, which is a bit annoying, but it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Here we go. Rage spell is in. Troops are going to push their way into the base. And we should be good. They'll push. They'll fight their way through that sweeper. It's not going to take them too long to get through there. We'll rage up over the queen. And then the only big threat left is this expo on the backside. So the clan castle is down. We do not have to worry about the lava hound. It is not going to come out at all. Perfect. We'll put a minion down here. But that's something to keep in mind. If you're hitting a base that you think might have a lava hound, and you think your heroes might go into range, keep an archer. And then you got to be a bit patient because if you still have any other ground troops on the base, you can't move that lava hound to where you want it. And you can see this base is crushed now. The other time when I tried this attack and I pulled the Lava Hound, uh, it wasn't even close. It was like 60%. So it was a huge difference. The reason for that big difference is the Lava Hound basically distracted all my dragons right beside the Expo. So not only did they take heavy fire from the Expo, but once the Hound popped, all those Lava Pups also did additional damage and held them up for even longer. So yeah, X or the Lava Hound might not come out for the dragons, but it's still an OP defense against dragons. But if you deal with it like I did here, this base is gone. Wrecked. GG's. 
Other things you can do with this army, you can just do a brute force attack. Uh, don't take any lightning spells for any air defenses. Other options you have for your clan castle, you can take uh, you can take a lava hound in there instead of balloons. You can take another dragon. Uh, basically, any air troop is going to help support your dragons. But I think balloons are probably the best. Lava hounds pretty good. Dragons pretty good. I wouldn't necessarily recommend minions. You could potentially even take an electro dragon, but the electro dragon might not get very much value because it's so slow. But with that, let's go ahead and move on to the next army. So we'll be going at this base again, and this time we're going to be taking a look at Lalo. So here's the army I have currently. This is going to be a Sui Lalo, so the heroes with a golem are going to make a push into the base. Uh, for Lalo, you want to get the CC out of the way, and you want to get the queen out of the way, and then you want to pick up as much value as you can in addition to that. In this case, I'll be getting as well as the queen and the CC. I'll also be getting the X-Bow, the Wizard Tower, which are big for protecting the balloons, and a couple of air defenses as well. So let's go ahead and jump into the attack. All right, and here we go. Start the wizard down here. And go ahead and put a balloon in. Check for Sam's. Put in a baby dragon to funnel. Wizard will get the funnel set on the other side. Let's get the king in. Three wall breaks. All right, so far so good. <clears throat> King and Golem pushing their way into the base. Queen in behind. Let's go ahead and drop this. Let's freeze that up. You have the Lava Hound coming out. Skelly's going to help distract a little bit anyway. And there we go. Need the Hound to, or need the Queen to step up and work on that Lava Hound. And there she goes, finally. So she can work on that. King's going to help provide some tanking. Pop the Queen's ability. Go and get the poison down. She's going to pop the Hound quickly with the ability popped. There we go. Pop the King's ability as well, and let's get this Lalo underway. Haste that. Haste there as well. Freeze that for now. We can also freeze that. It's being a bit annoying. And rage over that X bow and a wizard tower. It's not looking too bad. Balloons need to move into this wizard tower on the back end. Go ahead and haste here. Let's get the cleanup going. Almost forgot about that. You got to get the cleanup nice and early so that it has time to work through. And there we go. It's all spread out. We got a lava hound still chugging along the one out of the CC finding some red air bombs it might not even pop so there's some cleanup that I'm not even going to have there we go we got a ton of balloons left alive we got cleanup on the top side hopefully it's enough time it should be it's 50 seconds still the balloons are moving on through on the bottom side and yeah this base is crushed yeah, if I can get lucky I'll even find a Sam with the hound uh oh I found some scally traps that's not ideal cleanup anyway but at least the balloons have split up a bit. So that's going to help. Can't believe that hound never popped. 24 seconds left, though. I've got plenty of time. And there you have it. There's a Sui Lalo. Of course, with Lalo, there are a lot of variations you can do. Uh, different army comps. Uh, you basically want to change it up. For what you're going to need for a specific base instead of doing a copy paste army you can change up the spells for something that you might need more specifically and of course there are just a lot of different variations of lalo in general uh, another one that i like to use a lot on the lower town hall levels especially was penta lalo it's a lot more spammy it's literally just five lava hounds and the rest balloons and that's the entire army and you basically just send it all in another thing you can do is queen charge lalo that's a bit more difficult but Queen Charge is a, a skill that's super valuable to learn, especially early on at Town Hall 9. You start to learn it nice and early, and then it's going to become incredibly more valuable as you progress up in the Town Hall levels. And speaking of Queen Charge, we will take a look at one of those attacks for the final attack of this video. 
Okay, so we're going to hit this base one more time for the last army. And I couldn't do this video without a queen charge attack. So here we go. Queen charge hog raiders. And the idea is kind of similar to uh, Lalo, where you want to get the queen and the clan castle out of the way before the hog raiders go in. So what we're going to be doing is doing basically the same push. Queen is going to charge in towards the town hall, towards the enemy queen, get all that taken care of. And then we're going to send the hog riders in in basically a very similar fashion. I might even actually send them from the backside. And what we're going to try and do with the king is hopefully use him to distract the expo a little bit at least. But yeah, let's give it a run, see how it goes. Let the mortar shoot one more time. Got the healers in. Queen's going to be able to push into that compartment. Wizard getting the funnel set on the bottom. Should keep my queen inside the base. Go ahead and reach her up. That next layer opened. Perfect. Looking good. Alright, now the queen's going to work on the hound for a bit. Got to give her some time to work through so that the pathing for the hogs can shape up. Let's get this poison down. Rage in as well. Put these archers down here to get some huts out of the way. All right, perfect. Looking good. And let's send in a couple of balloons. Let's full send to these hog riders. Alright, hog riders are pushing in. Got a double giant bomb here. Now the pathing is going to get a little bit wonky for the hog riders, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and heal here on the top side. Queen's still pushing through. It's not looking too bad. The hog riders have kind of grouped back up, which is great. Get through the wizard tower. Send in another wizard from the top. My queen's going to beat on a wall here shortly. Let's go ahead and pop her ability so she can do that quicker. I'll have to pop my king's ability soon as well. Get give another wizard. We've got one hog rider left. He's working on that very last mortar. It's going to come down to the dark elixir storage but i still have 23 seconds left it's not looking too bad it's gonna pop this king's ability sooner is better than later here we go everything hidden and why is the queen beating on a wall like an idiot is this really going to be a time fail the king in the middle being alive is a bit annoying and he's especially holding everything up hall grader gets the storage down it's gonna be a 99 percent <laughs> but i mean you guys get the gist of it. That basically should have been a triple had I gotten the king out of the way earlier. We'll go ahead and call it close enough. The queen charge attacks are a bit more difficult, especially on time, as you've seen here. Because you have to give the queen charge time to develop the base. And then particularly with hog riders, you have to have time to not just get through all the defenses, but then clean up behind the hog riders. So this army is particularly tough to do on time. But, you know, just try to do things a bit quicker. Of course, you don't have to do a queen charge with the hog riders either. If you wanted to do the the hog riders like I did with the Lalo in the previous attack, you could definitely do that as well. And you could do pretty much the exact same Sui with the king and queen going into that compartment uh, with the golem out in front and then do pretty much the same hog rider deployment I just did here. And it will work out pretty well. But in any case, that is going to be it for this video. Let me know what you guys think down below. And I'm going to try and continue on with this series of Let's Play, and then we're going to move on to Town Hall 10, do some Town Hall 10 attacks, and so on and so forth. 
But if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up down below. And if you want to see more Clash content from me, be sure to hit that subscribe. Thank you guys for stopping by, and I will catch you all next time.